Hi, this is Self Discovery Support, and this is another open general message. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. And I'm using the Trickster's Journey and the Tantric Dakini Oracle deck. Okay, so this is a very clear, immediate message, and I feel more of like a, a rally for people who are experiencing this in. Um, in this viewing collective okay so there's like a lot of cups energy here so there's a lot of emotional activity but with the moon here it feels like somebody is uncertain or almost on not unable but afraid to express their actual feeling it's like a small feeling but it wants to grow we have the page and the night. You know, this is something that wants to take um, to grow feet and move, you know. And the card we have, the oracle card, is the Shiva, the pillar of fire. And what a card for that. It's the card that tells you about almost like the burst of energy that comes. Almost like a, a great call, a shift inside that calls you forward to act on a kind of universal charge in you, like a desire. And it's 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 a big thing, but you might you might be believing it's a small thing for a cups is here. Alright, if this is about um someone that you feel interested in but you're you're like you're so drawn to this person. I do see that. If you if this reading is for you, you are someone that something or someone has caught your eye. And however, it's not going in a way that is pleasing to you. It's not giving the satisfaction that you wanted. So it may be that somebody has um maybe not taken up your advances the way that you wanted to have happen um, but there is a lot of passionate energy for this person and it feels like this is like crush energy page of cups this is something that it's all yeah it's like somebody's caught your eye and from that moment it's like you know you cannot get this person off your mind but it's something about this situation that sends you into this kind of deep anxiety about saying, expressing to this person what it is that you feel and and want and desire, you know? Um, not that you're going to go to people at the beginning and say, I would like to date you and I'd like to, even if you, some of you might see a long term with this person or that passionate energy. Um, yeah, that might not be the best time to express that, but there is something stopping you from moving ahead. Maybe there's doubts about um, whether this person would return that feeling, whether that would come back to you. And I feel like with the four of cups that you might have, maybe you've tried to suss things out and it hasn't come back favorably. Or you've created a kind of story, but you can't really know because it feels like the thing that you're avoiding is this communication of your feelings. And if you feel like this is for somebody else, definitely. If you feel like this is somebody in relation to you, definitely um, take that because this is a general open message um, so let's do a little bit of clarifying All right, so we've got the emperor here. Um, yeah. It feels like with the eight of coins, the four of wands, the knight of wands. The knight of cups to the knight of wands, it's such a passionate energy. This person is very significant to you. 
there's a lot of mo- motion towards this person that it feels like you're being called to. Um, it does feel like this is a more masculine energy here in this reading, the emperor. So if you are feeling like you're fem- you're relating more to feminine energy, this could be in relation, somebody's thoughts in relation to you. But it just feels like somebody has a feeling and a, a kind of sensation that they should make their way towards you to work on things. They are not sure. They're, they're not sure that they could have um, security and safety because maybe the information isn't gathered yet, but they're still very drawn to you. Okay. It's, it's so direct. It's like someone wanting to take some actions here. Let's see um, if this is you, some advice, and if this is someone coming towards you, let's get some advice for that too. If this is the for the emperor, let's get some advice for the emperor who wants to take action. Justice, okay, with the king of cups. Let's get some advice for the person that they would be coming towards. Let's get some advice for the person that they would be coming towards. Three of cups with the emperor, okay. We have the Ten of Coins in the Hidden Energy, so there is a strong sense that this person that you are either taking the action towards or the person that's coming towards you is somebody that you could have like a lot of stability with. This is like somebody that is um, interested in foundational relationships. They're not. It doesn't feel like, um, even though there's so much passion and clearly energy to to connect. It doesn't feel like this is um, a light or passing situation. This person, um, if this is you, if you're the one that wants to take this action, we have justice. So it, it's talking about making sure that things are balanced in the way that you show up um, expressing yourself. So the King of Cups is quite balanced, um, quite centered in their emotional state. So that might be um a way for you to approach this the if you are the person that gets approached three of cups so i would say that that's the masculine energy this over here seems like the feminine so if you are that person three of cups with the emperor i guess this is telling you that um use your discernment of course but it feels like as i said this person is solid this person is interested in being foundational and it's about recognizing that there is an opportunity here so if some of you have been thinking about getting into a partnership or asking for that it does feel like this this person that's coming your way is interested in that you're gonna know by their um this this person could show up as being a little bit hesitant but they will express a little bit and the way that they express their emotions also comes with some of that passionate energy with this Knight of Wands. Um, so if you're looking for signs, there's a lot here, but um, I'm going to do the Major Wands. Aries, we do have Scorpio, Libra, we have um, Pisces, a lot of Piscean energy here as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, Aries a lot. We do have a lot of Aries, Virgo as well, and Cancer. Okay, so there you go. I'm wishing you well. This is seems very exciting for either of you. The one embarking on the journey can be. Um, one that tests your um your grit your your self-esteem but it does feel like there's a chance to have something that is very um deeply connected yeah all right take care wishing you all the best do like comment and subscribe if you feel that this was for you and it was useful take care